is maintained. Question number eight, Phil Twyford. My question is for the Minister of Building and Housing. Does he stand by his reported statement that the housing crisis is a media beat-up? Oh. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, no, because the reports were inaccurate. Supplementary, Mr Supplementary Speaker. question, Phil Twyford. Which of the following ministerial descriptions of the housing crisis does he prefer? Overhyped by the media, as he said this week, a challenge, as the Prime Minister has said, or a top-tier issue, as Simon Bridges called it? The Honourable Dr Mr Speaker, the Government's position is it's not a crisis, but there is a challenge. New Zealand is doing so well that it's attracting New Zealanders home, that an increasing number of people are wanting to live in New Zealand, and as a consequence of that good news story, we need to make sure we build more houses, and that is a key priority for the Government. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When the IMF said that New Zealand had the world's second fastest growth in house prices at the end of last year, and Fitch Ratings said that New Zealand has the most unaffordable housing in the world, was that media hype? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Dr. Nixon. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd note on the IMF chart, if that was to be the test, that the most affordable houses and the best place to live is Syria, Greece, and Spain. Uh, and actually, uh, this government's ambition is not to be like any of those three countries. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When the Bay of Plenty Times reported a 60 year old woman who faced living in her car because the caravan park where she's been living for the past seven months is closing down, was that media hype? Mr. The Honourable Dr Nixon. Uh, Mr Speaker, I remind that member that when we applied the housing uh, special areas to the Bay of Plenty, the member said it was a waste of time and I should focus on Auckland. Actually, that was a member who was not in favour of the measures this government is taking in regional New Zealand with programmes like Homestart, with the housing, special housing areas that actually recognise this issue is about more than Auckland. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When the Herald said that housing solutions, and I quote, cannot be expected from a government that has been in office long enough to have considered them, and that, again, I quote, the housing problem has reached the proportions that require fresh thinking from a government elected to do something about it. Was that media hype? The Honourable Dr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that I agree there is more the government wishes to do in the housing area. That's why 1st of April last year we introduced the most generous support in a generation for first home buyers. Well, actually, 12,000 Kiwis in the last 12 months have had a grant from this government to support them into a house. If we look at the labour force figures today out, they show the biggest increase in the labour market of people working in house construction ever, with that number more than doubling. And actually, this government is making enormous progress in getting more houses built for Kiwi families. Supplementary question, the right honourable uh, Prime can Minister. The, can the Minister uh, give the House and some idea of the initiatives undertaken by this government in relation to housing and contrast that under the period of 1999 to 2008 when house prices doubled in Auckland? What are the, fir the first part of the question? Is the Speaker, order I the must notify government. the Speaker in advance. This will be a long answer. The first step this government took was to remove depreciation for buildings, which affects the demand side of investment housing. The second step the government took was the first phase of resource management reforms. The government then introduced the Home Start scheme, that is a $420 million investment. The government has provided for increased housing standards with 290,000 houses insulated. There is the ongoing work order. around our order. 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 Member will sit down. Point of order, the right honourable one. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. That answer is far too long and far too wrong. <laughs> no, no. I just need to deal with that point of order. Um, on this occasion, the member's right. It was far too long, and I was moving to curtail it. Um, but I will be the judge of the length of answers. Supplementary question. Right honourable Winston P uh, the right honourable. Mr. Speaker, notwithstanding the minister's inability to get all of the uh, new initiatives out in one answer, uh, would he describe that as fresh thinking? 
Speaker. Very quickly. Uh, yes, there is fresh thinking. It's interesting, uh, Prime Minister, uh, that when we introduced the housing accords and special housing areas, parties opposite that today grizzle about housing vigorously opposed each of those measures to grow housing supply, and whether it's increasing in apprenticeship numbers, whether it's in terms order, of better... Order, order, order. order. The, the, the member can take a slot in the general debate very, very shortly. Question number nine.